to teach their reviews. This is this is Lee. This is Lee. Lee, um, what do you do? I'm we a plasterer and um, I have a good plasterer. A good plasterer by trade. Excellent. And I run power tool reviews and hand tool reviews on Instagram and Facebook and yeah, yeah. follow Johnny on all of them. Yeah, part yeah. of Johnny's group. But you're going to be on this vlog now tonight. This will be out for the vlog tonight. Yeah, no. Hey, I tell you something now, right? Without a shadow of a doubt, right? Um, I thought I knew how to render when I'm, you know, when you're doing those, when you're landscaping, you're doing those uh, raised beds and everything. But this man here gave me the perfect formula how to render outdoors, and it hasn't failed. It hasn't failed yet. It's absolutely perfect. It went absolutely solid. We had the flex it. We put the the mesh on it, didn't I? Remember? Yeah, yeah. And, and we used the sharp sand. Um, was that um, one oh, the thing I've got to say is the other day I used this uh, new system, well it's not new, it's a company called EWI Render Systems, be awesome for you landscape advice. EWI? Yeah, it's a 6 mil thin coat um, uh, um, base coat that goes over your block work with a mesh integrated, right. so it's only 6 mil you're going over the block work and then you put in a 1 to 2 mil finish coat and rub it up and it's silicon render it's awesome water run why silicon render good like um it was just really easy to use right and that's kind of what i kind of liked about it really because it was easy of use yeah so though you're a professional right a lot of landscapers sometimes they can get the plasters in the garden to come along and that would be a good system for them to actually yeah, use you can turn it around really quick Hey, look, seriously, these people are, I know these people are going to be interested in you and what you do, right? When, um, where could they find you? Like, on Instagram? What, um, what's it called on Instagram? Just type in Tape Slayer Reviews and I'll come up. Yeah. And uh, I'm all over Facebook and just Google me. There you go. Google him. Not goggle box him, Google him. <laughs>and there's another one there, so we've got to make sure that we don't cover them up. Great day yesterday, it was even sunny. At least it's blowing at the moment, and the thing about Chepstow here, it changes quite fast from good weather to bad weather, but that's coming right the way over us. I think it's gonna rain soon. Well, this is the uh, Ruby TC125, it's uh, a wet saw it's a rail saw so this goes on a rail I've shown this before a few times and I've started to use it a few times now where we've got the paving in situ on the ground and we just set the rail up and these suction cups actually help to hold the rail in place and it's an absolute dream of a saw it cuts perfect and uh, what it has is as it has this facility for a water suppressant because the thing is about porcelain porcelain is cooked at very high temperatures so you've got to keep the porcelain nice and cool and you can do that with water it's so important it comes with this rail kit it's all in there slim system and uh three meters long and i'll be able to get these if anyone's looking for one of these i've been asked this morning if you're looking for these give us a shout there you are jack's just pulling this out now that must be eight inches thick isn't it Eight inches thick at least, and uh, not needed, is it, Jeff? No, just a layer of path on. You've got some base to make it. It's a ridiculous amount. It must have cost a fortune. Look how thick that is down there. You can't 
wait on their affirmation. You can't wait on their approval. You can't wait on their support. Sometimes you just got to run and look behind you and say, everybody who wants to run, run. But I can't stop running because you're not running with me. Listen, listen to me, hear me. You can't stop chasing your dream just because somebody in your life won't chase it with you. You can't stop believing in yourself just because somebody in your life won't believe in you. You can't stop chasing the dreams of your life just because when you know when you do it, you're going to have to do it all by yourself. Well, we've just attempted the, our first ball nose on this piece of waste product here. You can see how it's put the shape on the edge and that's done with that blade. Well, this is the ball nose that we've just practiced on here and you can see what happens with the porcelain. You can see it creates a beautiful shape, nice and round and you just smooth it off then you work it with this and get a bit of water on there but the only trouble as I can see it doesn't look good along this edge here because of the layering of the porcelain on sandstone this would be perfect but because you've got a veneer with the porcelain you can see how it cuts through and the edge only it is very not fragmented but it does sort of go in and out a little bit and no matter what we've done we've tried to get a nice edge but it doesn't look good now what I want to show you is you can see along that edge there where we've just rubbed it up and we've just taken the edge off so it's not sharp and it's not bad at all to be honest so I think that would that looks just more sleeker and neater than putting that ball nose on it to be honest you can't see the writing, the stamp was on here, I had that facing outwards, but all the writing is gone now. There's a little bit over that side there, which I'm going to work on, but I think the edge, if you look at that, is a lot better. It doesn't show up so much. Well, it's all gone now. We've got a bit of a sub base now for our picture frame. It's going to go all the way down. Just got to try and remove those trees and keep the earth around it, which I doubt we'll do. So. We're with Grant. Grant's the main man now with social distancing. He's the main man down at Digby. Digby in where? Where are we? Uh, Chapsworth. Yeah, don't go red, don't go red. <laughs> now, you, you've been driving machines for a while. What was I like then on that machine? Andy. <laughs> being polite anyway. <laughs>
Well, I'm back and I'm out. I uh, had a quick shower and uh, just going up to see a client. Um, I think they was on a, a recent vlog. I, um, I'm doing a design for them. I've got the concept uh, done. I'm going to show you that in a sec, just very quickly. So, <laughs> sorry, there we go. You can see it there. It's a very small garden and I've put things out that are diagonals. Uh, all will be apparent late, later uh, if we get the job of here to show you and I can explain you to you in more detail about what I've done there. But let's go and see him now. I'm late. Well, we're here. Um, I'm not quite sure whether I said half past four, quarter to five, um, or half past five, quarter to six, but I'm here, it's light. Um, I've got to explain myself. There's nothing worse than being late.